All right, hello and welcome to Avian Jay's Adventures Pine Barrens Edition. I know I'm always doing crazy stuff like going to other states and countries and everything, but there's a lot of really cool fish just in New Jersey that I haven't ever shown off on video and I think deserve to be shown off. Uh, so today I'm gonna go through the list of pine barren species living in those swampy, acidic areas with all the pine trees and the spruce trees and in the really destitute places in the middle of nowhere that no one really understands or knows are there. And we'll try and catch all of those species and observe them and show them off. Let's do it. All right, so this is not quite the pine barrens, but it is a place where you can find a blue spotted sunfish, which is a pine barrens fish that's becoming more and more rare in the pine barrens. Yet in this random human made canal in central Jersey, you can find tons of them. So I scoop through vegetation. There's one in there. Actually quite pretty for how small he is. He's ah! <laughs> He's colored up quite nicely. Look at that. Yeah, that's a very pretty fish. As a blue spotted sunfish. That's probably the most colored up one I've ever caught. Very cute. All right, that is all we came here for. Now I have to drive about an hour south to the actual Pine Barrens to catch the other fish in that genus. Let's do it. And now we're actually in the Pine Barrens. This is middle of nowhere, South Jersey, pine and spruce trees everywhere. This little sandy road that I had to drive down. And over there is a good sized lake that is absolutely filled with banded sunfish. They're in the same genus as the pretty blue spotted sunfish that we just saw, but instead of blue spots, they have yellow ones. Uh, so we're gonna go try to catch a really pretty uh, banded sunfish. And then we'll probably move to the next location for swamp darters and black banded sunfish. Yes, there's a banded sunfish and a black banded sunfish. What's with the creepy Sonic thing? <laughs> this is creepy. Sonic on a stick, Sonic's head on a stick, red on it. Okay, anyways, let's do it. What a ridiculously pretty area. Just a lake from a brook that was naturally dammed by beavers over there in the middle of the Pine Barrens. You can hear there's a highway over there, but other than that, it's perfect. Well, netting this little vegetated pool, and I got a sunfish I forgot existed. <laughs> when I planned out my route today, oh geez, don't drop them, to show off all of the Pine Barrens species, I forgot about mud sunfish. So here's a pretty mud sunfish. I'll put them in the photo tank because I don't even have a very good photo of this fish. They're pretty rare. Where they exist, they're usually in like pairs of one or two. So I bet if we shocked this whole big lake, there's probably less than 20 of them in there. And there he is. Probably New Jersey's second most rare sunfish after the black banded sunfish. And New Jersey is just about the furthest north that they go. This population is possibly the furthest northern population of mud sunfish in existence. Uh, there might be more in the Black River up in North Jersey, but I've yet to prove that, just a theory. So for now, this is probably the furthest north that you will find this fish. Otherwise you have to go down to like North Carolina, South Carolina Pine Barrens to come across them. But they are very pretty. All right, next swoop. I did get a banded sunfish, but it's a baby baby. Not as pretty as they get. Don't love this spider on my finger. Not as pretty as they get, so I'm gonna try to catch a bigger one with more coloration. I also got a nice bullhead. This is not a tadpole mad tom, right? Nope, that's a bullhead. Let's see, yellow or, yep, this is a yellow bullhead. Pretty catfish, they get much, much bigger than this. Okay, so I caught a slightly bigger banded sunfish. Oh. He's pretty. Not as pretty as they get. They get more of the yellow spots throughout the body, but it is a pretty sunfish. And then I also caught what I think are baby mud sunfish, which I've never seen before, which means that there are enough mud sunfish in here that they are actively reproducing and that I'm able to catch multiple babies in one swing. This might be the most mud sun sunfish that exists in any place. They're usually very sporadic. So that's pretty cool. Oh, this is a blue spotted sunfish. And I specifically went to, oh, now he's covered in sand, but I specifically went to Carnegie Lake this morning to get a blue spotted sunfish because I thought that they aren't here because I fished this lake like, I don't know, five or six times and only ever caught banded sunfish. So uh, new species at this lake, I guess. Okay, so we tried along the shore for a bit, caught a few more banded and blue spotted, but no big banded like I was hoping for. So we're gonna move on to the next spot. There's still a chance we find good sized banded sunfish later, but not here. 
Okay, so this is the next location. It's kind of a shot in the dark because I've only found it here once, but I'm gonna try to find a tadpole mad tom. They're a dwarf catfish species that likes these pine barrens, muddy environments, and they do like some flow. So there's a dam over there that makes this water slightly flowing. I don't know if you can really tell, but that's probably the most likely place that we would come across them in this area. Well, if nothing else, found a nice big red swamp crayfish. They're invasive, but oh well, they are pretty. They get decently big. You can see those beautiful red colors too. Well, the only fish so far is just a bluegill. <laughs> Yes, the one she's catching, just clear yellow. Probably just stocked in the lake up there. So, no wild fish yet. The tadpole mad tom would be here wildly. I did catch, like I said, one before in the two times I've been here. So, it's not particularly likely, but we have two people, so, eh. Why, you want it? Two tail. <laughs> angry, he has such an angry face. Cute All right, no success with tadpole mad toms at that location. There's still a chance we catch them later throughout the day, you know, just sifting through some random mud because they're kind of everywhere in the Pine Barrens, but uh, makes sense. I've only ever found them here once, so it's just a shot in the dark because it was really close to the last location. Now we're heading to a man-made lake for black-banded sunfish, the other sunfish, the southern sunfish, and uh, swamp darter. Those are the two species left for that location, and then we have one more after that. All right, so I am at the park that is at Scion Lake. It is a state park, and luckily there was no entry fee, so if I'm not allowed to fish, then I won't feel so bad about it. But uh, when I was here last, it was dead of winter. There was not a single person here. There wasn't even a guard at the gate. So I kind of just came right in and went fishing. Now I'm wondering if it might be against the rules to go fishing here. See what I can do. It's pretty much the only consistent place I know of to catch tons of black banded sunfish. Swamp darter, we can go somewhere else. Um, so if nothing else, I'm just gonna throw the waders on, quickly get in the water, get me some black banded sunfish, and then get out of here. All right, so this is the lake. It is a man-made lake with tons of recreation, people kayaking and whatever that's called, paddle boarding. But yet, New Jersey's most rare sunfish is chilling probably right in the weeds right there. All right, well, I was just trying to catch a big snake <laughs> that was going through the shrubbery, and I got my black-banded sunfish. Okay, bud. Very pretty. Probably New Jersey's most rare sunfish. Actually, almost definitely New, most New Jersey's most rare sunfish. Very pretty, chilling in this recreational man-made lake. Okay, so I chased around some fish and sand holes and such for a bit. Didn't catch any swamp darters. I know they're on the other side of the lake, but there are so many people here that I really don't want to just go exploring through the lake because they're in the beach area. All the swamp darters that I caught here during the winter are in the swimming area that they have sectioned off. So not worthwhile. I can get a swamp darter closer to home anytime. We'll see if we have time to do it later today. If not, I'll insert footage I have from previous years of swamp darters. Now we're going to head for two species, but one of them being one of the rarest, the iron color shiner. We're also gonna try to get a pirate perch there, but we can go get an iron color shiner. I've caught them like twice ever in my life. They're extremely rare in New Jersey. They're only in this one river that we know of right now. So let's do it. All right, we are at our final location for the day. We're trying to catch a pirate perch, which should be pretty easy. They're very abundant in all the leaf litter here and all that vegetation back there. And an iron color shiner, which should be significantly harder. Well, this is a beautiful tannic river down here in South Jersey. As you can probably hear, we're right next to a highway, but the river is still flowing nice. It's actually not that polluted, all things considered. I can see the bottom. It only It's only probably about six feet deep and surprising with how like tannic this water is that I can still see through some of it. So it'd be a really cool place to dive at some point. I want to do that. But for now, iron color shiner. Well, I got an eastern mud minnow. This was not a fish that I've ever caught here and not a fish that I, I mean, I could probably assume it was here. It's a mud minnow and it's a muddy area. But I uh, wasn't exactly planning to get this today, but it is one of the Pines Barren, Pine Barren fishes. So that's pretty cool. And we caught a yellow bullhead earlier, which means if we get a swamp darter, pirate perch, and iron color shiner, we've caught literally all of the fish that exist in the southern half of the state. So that's crazy. 
Very pretty. And I've caught another mud sunfish, this time an adult. I don't know, oh, don't, don't leave me please. Um, I don't know why I'm catching so many today. Genuinely, these are one of the rare sunfish in New Jersey, one of the rarest fish in New Jersey. They're super sporadic, they're not well surveyed, and yet I've caught like eight today. Well, I caught a pirate perch, but it is the babiest of baby pirate perches. Nonetheless, caught it, and I did see some shiners swimming around over there, so I'm hopeful I'll be able to get some iron colors, even though it's the middle of the day and I've only ever caught them at night. One fish to go. Let's do it. Well, I don't think I've ever seen a tessellated darter this long. I mean, it's definitely a tessellated darter, don't get me wrong, but look how long he is for how skinny he is. Interesting. That is a cool darter. Well, no iron color yet, but there's a good sized pirate perch I found. This little grassy section, I like was kicking the grass up to try and lure the things out of it. And he jumped straight out out of the water. This is close to as big as they get. They can get a little bit bigger, but not much. Well, we may have not gotten the tadpole mad tom at that other site, but I caught one here. Another, oh my God, it's another species onto the list. So we're missing what? Swamp darter? Is that it? I've caught every other species that exists in Southern New Jersey, except the swamp darter now with this tadpole mad tom. That's awesome. Fun fact, this mad tom has the most painful sting out of all of the mad toms in the entire country. I don't know who went and got stung by every single one and created an index of pain, but if I got stabbed through this net right now by either the dorsal or pelvic fins, it would hurt quite a bit. Let's just say that much. Also, look how gorgeous the river is here. Here, let me give you guys my glasses. You can see better. Can you see? Does this work? I've always seen people do this in videos. They put through their polarized glasses. There you go. Look at that. Look at how beautiful this section of the river is. Sick polarized glasses, by the way. Without, with. You can see all the fish on the bottom. This is a part of the river I never knew existed. I never went up the river very much, so I never knew I could actually walk in it. I've always fished from the shore, and now I can walk all the way to the middle of the river. This is revolutionary for finding iron colors. God damn, we are really upgrading our pictures at this place. Look at this. Remember the tiny mud minnow I caught earlier? How about that guy? That's a big mud minnow. I just got so lucky. I was on my way out and swimming in front of me, close to the surface, was a group of three good sized iron color shiners. Oh my God, I can finally take a pic of an iron color shiner that isn't a baby. This is the first adult iron color I've ever caught and I got two of them. And they're so beautiful. Oh, wow. Wow. So beautiful. Biggest I've ever caught by far. Fully colored up. You can see that thick black line. I mean, the other shiners in New Jersey just don't get anywhere near that. Most shiners in the world don't get anywhere near that thick black line. These guys are really adapted to this titanic dark water. So they have this really nice dark coloration. And they are very pretty. They really look like the metallic shiners, the Terra Notropus. But they are, as of now, genetically just Notropus. Nopus chaliabus. So beautiful. All right, that's probably it for today. I could catch the swamp darter and complete the summary of every fish that exists in Southern Jersey, but I have footage of that from before. So I'll just throw that in, save myself the effort. We did well. We caught everything and more that we were supposed to. So that's a win. That is all for today's Avian Jays Adventures. Shout out to my fishing partner. Uh, have a good day.